Well, morning, guys. Uh, this morning got a unit in that uh, AC is only cooling on one side. Basically, it starts cooling and then it just kind of goes warmer and warmer until it just feels like ambient temperature. So, uh, on that one, we checked the compressor condition, the way it was functioning. I mean, it's working fine. On that one, we're suspecting that the expansion valve is wanting to kind of give out on this. So. I'm going to go ahead and uh, do a, uh, I'm going to reclaim the refrigerant. I'm going to go ahead and uh, dismantle the inner unit of uh, evaporator and I'm going to go ahead and uh, swap out that uh, expansion valve. And we're going to come back and do a uh, vacuum on the system for a good 20 to 30 minutes. We can go ahead and put it back to, I mean, refill it back up with the proper levels of refrigerant, which is four and a half pounds on these units. Add, uh, um, add like two, two and a half ounces of PAG 46 oil and test it out. That should take care of our little problem. Well, guys, in this case, we found a small little leak on the low suction side of the AC line. So Eight pounds, and we know that this unit runs off of 4.25. So, uh, the reason that the AC was only cooling on one side and not the other, I'm, I'm going to think it was because it was low in refrigerant. So, I'm going to go, I'm going to go ahead and try and refill the system, test it before I actually go in and dismantle and replace that expansion valve. So, let me go ahead and try this one first. I'm going to go ahead and Vacuum the system out. Since we didn't remove any of the hoses and all like that, and uh, the system was only exposed to atmospheric pressure for uh, maybe 20 30 seconds, we're going to go ahead and run a 15 minute vacuum. Vacuum test. I went for lunch, came back. It's been a good 45 minutes, and it's holding. It's holding a vacuum. So no apparent leaks in the system. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, charge. that it was done we added 4.251 pounds uh, we're going to go ahead and it's asking us to close the copper valves and disconnect service hoses so that the machine can actually relieve itself of its pressure so we're going to go ahead and do that real quick basically there we just have to kind of undo these real quick 
that way the machine is not actually connected to the system anymore. This valve is closed. The machine's going to work with whatever's left in the hose, not the system itself. So basically here, take that to continue, and basically it's going to go ahead and kind of perform a recover, but it's only going to take what's in the actual blue and red hoses, not the AC system in the bus. So let me go ahead and start the sucker up and uh, see how it does. Remember guys, at the beginning I thought the problem was going to be expansion valve. Uh, I'm, there's a very good chance that I might have been wrong. The problem was not the expansion valve, it was actually low and free on in uh, the refrigerant. So I'm going to go ahead and start this up and uh, test it out, see how it works now. And uh, I'm really hoping we don't have to take that AC apart and use this part on it. But if we have to, we'll go ahead and take care of it. But let's hope not cross our fingers guys. Let me go ahead and start this unit up and see what it does. This side, I mean, it's already starting to pull. This, these two were working somewhat decently. This is the one that we started losing the actual pull, and this one was just a good one. Uh, as of now, we just started to open it up. Outside is mid 90s, mid to upper 90s. AC system. All this and done guys uh, these units nothing was wrong with these these are doing fine this is just doing better
check that out. I'm gonna say this one's done. This one's working great. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this off. And send it back out to uh, park it back out of the lot. It's ready for the new school year. Come on, guys. Again, thanks for watching and uh, like and subscribe.